Dozens of residents here are speaking out and making sure their voices are heard. They're tired. They actually want, they need help. Their tenant president, Carrie Scarborough, called PIX11 News for help. I have no gas to cook on. Yeah. They just put a little heat on today because they knew y'all were coming. Right. Amanda McKenzie Roberts no says she is beyond angry. She says she's livid. No gas for months and no explanation or timeline as to when it will be restored. This is how the residents in this building were notified that we have no gas. And do you see the date? A handwritten note taped to the wall in her lobby put up, she says, back in August. Tuesday, Roberts invited PIX11 News to her kitchen and showed us how she cooks on a hot plate given to her from the city. This is terrible. We're not going to be able to have Thanksgiving. I'm the parent of a college student. Do you know how they look forward to coming home to Thanksgiving? I can't provide Thanksgiving for my son, for my family. Roberts is from Guyana. Her 19-year-old son is coming home from college for Thanksgiving for the first time. His favorite dish is fish cakes, but... Thanksgiving is off. If I can't cook an egg on this, how am I going to prepare an elaborate meal? Roberts says it's time for NYCHA to fix the gas before the holidays. I pay my rent on time. I'm a working American. We want gas! NYCHA confirms this gas, gas service interruption we is affecting gas. 48 apartments we due to a leak. Gas. As of Tuesday, 60 NYCHA buildings have gas outages across the city. That's according to NYCHA's website. Concerning the Brownsville House's outages, a spokesperson tells PIX11 News, quote, while we understand gas service interruptions are inconvenient, we also want to ensure our residents' safety as we work to restore service as quickly as possible. PIX11 News will be back to make sure gas service is restored. We want gas!